Switzerland is the very picture of tranquility, rollicking hills, majestic mountaintops, and people who know beauty when they see it. So it's highly fitting that for the Shanghai 2010 World Expo, their national pavilion is emphasizing the link between urban and rural living, because bettering one's life means knowing how to better the life of others. His nest of crazy white hair notwithstanding, Albert Einstein, born in 1879, is best known for his theory of relativity. The physicist's nationality is much debated, but for 55 years in the 20th century, he held Swiss nationality. In fact, Swiss people love Einstein so much that they crowned him the most important Swiss in history. Of course, besides Einstein, Swiss watches, army knives, chocolates, and beautiful mountains, Switzerland also has numerous other treasures worth knowing. Named Nature's Playground, the Swiss Pavilion is inspired by the concept of balance and is relevant to the sub-theme of the Expo, Rural-Urban Interaction. We choose urban-rural interaction because this is a very important topic in Switzerland and we feel also for China. Switzerland also is very densely populated just as China is and it's very important to uh, be able to communicate easily between urban and rural space and it's called uh, playground because we hope the pavilion will be something playful, joyful to visit. The National Pavilion of Einstein's hometown is a hybrid image of nature and technology. The Swiss Pavilion introduced a semi-transparent facade made of aluminum netting fitted with 11,000 intelligent solar cells that envelops the pavilion. What is special is that it is interactive. It will actually, there will be a lot of 11,000 sparkling lights and they can be initiated by the flashlights of the visitors and they're initiated by the energy of the sun which is available around the pavilion. There is actually electronic components uh, put on a, on a bioresin plate. They will absorb the energy and at the, a specific time they will give it back in form of a, of a blinking light. And the cells, they will also be interacting with each other. So if cell A is blinking, cell B will also be blinking and that will give very, very nice patterns around the whole facade. I'm very proud to say that actually these cells the way they will be used in Shanghai, they are developed for the World Expo in Shanghai. It will be a premiere. To further promote the stunning beauty of Switzerland's landscape, the pavilion also introduces two very special high-tech devices. The first message that we want to convey is that we can't 